Welcome back to Stay Tuned, I'm Tony Angelo and I like to go fast any which way possible. And today we're gonna to start building an electric powered muscle car. Don't leave, don't go anywhere. Bear with me. Please take a second and go over to the Stay Tuned merch store. We've got a rack of shirts from the original Stay Tuned shirt, Angelo's Gym, We're Gonna Lose the Shop, and my new Firebird shirt. Check it out and there's lots of stickers too. Originally hot rodding was about being resourceful. People use all sorts of different new technologies, different fuels. Whatever it was, they would jump on it, embrace it, and see what it's like. So that's what we're gonna do here. Look, it makes 752 horsepower. This thing could run on distilled hot dog water and I'd still wanna drive it. But what do I care? What's the difference? It's here, we got our hands on one for dirt cheap, and we're gonna tear it apart. We're gonna do it down and dirty style, stay tuned style, do all the work ourselves, keep it as simple as possible and hopefully have a very effective killer EV muscle car when we're done. So the goal with pretty much everything we do on Stay Tuned is to keep it pretty down and dirty and as resourceful as possible. So we went out and we bought a wrecked P90D that's from 2015. Uh, we paid 5,400 bucks to Copart to get this thing. And we're gonna take what we need out of it, the rear motor, the batteries, the rear motor alone is 503 electric horse puppies. And we will take probably some brakes and steering stuff. And I think between the front motor, the seats and everything else, we should be able to sell that junk and really help fund this project. Let's do it. Let's tear it down. I have not been near this thing, really, since we got it. And number one, we gotta get the doors open. This door, luckily, has the window down. Um, this doesn't work, though. No? Apparently, These seats are there's really nice. a release under that seat. Yeah, who's gone in there, gasoline forever? Do it. Does this game? Yeah, cop in there, bud. Come on, you're limber. Yeah. Give me my Your gloves. Your joints are fresh. <laughs> it's like getting into a race car. Sure. This one's, is it half open? It's like half, it's, yeah, it's on the catch. Definitely went fast until it didn't. It's a race car, dude. You, yeah. just, you just crawl in there. <laughs> Go ahead, Bo Luke. Duke. Get up in there. He's both Barb of them. doesn't know who He's that both is. Of them. He doesn't. We gotta sit you down one day and make you watch like 15 movies. You gotta yeah, watch this thing still smells Dukes new. Dukes of Hazard. Smokey and the Mary, Bandit. Crazy Convoy. Larry. You gotta watch Vanishing Point, Two Lane Blacktop. I haven't seen any of those. Really? American yeah, Graffiti. Yeah, when I was a kid, I was out messing around on my bike. I wasn't really watching a lot of movies. When I was a kid, I was riding my Dukes of Hazard big wheel, learning how to <laughs> handbrake it. Cool. Wait, yeah. do you have a book? Yeah, I got the quick guide. Oh, sweet. We just I'm gonna... Oh, oh look, look at that. What happened there? He opened the door. Hey, look, come us, here. Champ. No, no come us. here and I'll show you. Step inside. A little flap here. A little ripper. And a pull cord like you're trying to start your chain. chainsaw. Mm -hmm. And you just pull that. Bink. And it popped right open. All right, pull the other one. Yeah, Let me in there. Is there one for the front? Tape over here. Give her a pull. Anything weird in there yet? Um. Not really, just your normal Tesla stuff. Top That's it. Top, some napkins. Were those gloves yours? Change? No, these those... gloves were already here. What's up here? Those gloves were already in there. Okay. That's. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Somebody just like puke in here? They spilled That's their coffee for sure. Oh, uh, it's so... coffee. Is it coffee? It could be. There is, is there... a coffee cup here. Smell it. Oh, yeah. I think it's a coffee cup went flying. <laughs> Somebody lick it. <laughs> Somebody lick it. It's like Who on the mirror. Oh, yeah, it's the cream in their coffee. Oh, yeah, it's coffee. I feel the infinite. Bio blood it. my ass. When we bought this car, it was marked biohazard. It says blood on it. Uh, it's just a sad reality that when people get in accidents, they get hurt or get killed. It's a real potential. We actually didn't buy a cheaper version of the same exact car that was wrecked so badly, also marked bio blood, that no one could have survived. And we were like, that's too spooky. No, thank you. And we dig into our car and it, there is some gross stuff kind of splashed around, but it really just looks like coffee, I think. There's two coffee cups that clearly went flying in the accident. 
and there's like, you know, looks like milk on the rear view mirror, like coffee with cream. So hopefully that's it. We're not going to spend too much time worrying about it. We're just going to tear through it. Um, but I, you know, it's just kind of all part of the whole salvage car scenario. A light hood. Yeah, it is. You get that? I said there's some junk in the front. Tesla jokes. There you go. Turds in there. I found the battery. So it has one regular 12 volt battery that runs a bunch of the accessories from the car. That's one of the reasons I think this is a little less daunting is that like the brakes and the steering and stuff all run off regular 12 volts. Mm -hmm. And there's like a step down transformer that gets power from the giant batteries to get you there. Ooh. Trash. Dude, this thing is got an air filter. Easy access. Whacked good. Does this unbolt? It must, right? Or it did at some point? It's like wow. it's a monster strut bar. Right off of there. Wow. Put some power to that thing, see what happens. That fuse panel. The fuse panel's probably not in the best shape. Mm -mm. Most of these relays are trashed. I would say you're probably right. Um, yeah, what that do you want to do? What's your, what's your what's your concern right about what do we need the battery for? The brake stuff looks okay. Uh to slide the seats back and forward to get to the four fastener. Okay. Let me um, scope it real quick and see. We can why don't we get these hammered relays out of the way and you can plug I guess try it. Hmm. Something happened. The window moved. Yikes. That's high because the door's open. You got yeah. lights? All right, try moving some seats around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. All right. Lean back. The seats Lean indoors. Back. Lean back. Come these on. Si these seats are sick. They yeah. were, dude. Well, Frank strut. I think it's Let's do zero research. <laughs> it's more fun that way. Yeah. It's getting looser. That's a sign. I mean, the rear bumper is generally flawless. It does come out. Nice. If you haven't found a French fry, the car's not clean. That's a detailing rule. You know that, Russo? It's a thing. Unless you're working on like a, something brand new. Trunk bracket. Barb, this is a job for you. It says, pop out the trunk lid closure button to make a nice access panel. No, this is only going to work if you have wispy little arms like I do, or access to someone who does. Damn. Barb. Barb. Surgeon hands. I think our arms are the same. I don't know. Arm wrestle. Probably close. Arm wrestle. Let's find it. out. Don't tell me with a Let's find out. out. It's the old grab and pull, and it just works. To get money, you need to take it off without breaking it. I'm not breaking it. Yeah. They put safety tethers on it so it doesn't hit you in the head. All right, this week we're going to make our own pizza because we all love to do that when we're at home. Yeah. Uh, we have to have pizza in every show, and we're keeping it real DIY this week. We're just going to make our own pizza. Barb brought in his little pizza oven. It's propane powered. And Russo, who's holding the camera, made up this beautiful dough. Mm. Smell like it's smells delicious. So good. Smells delicious. We got sun dried tomatoes. We got some soppressata. Fresh mozzarella. I'm gonna do this thing. You made the sauce? Yes. All right. So, fully, fully homemade. While watching edits at the same time. Yes, it's we were all double editing tasking. last night yeah. and doing it up. And we have yeah, enough space? Flower, flower what do you think? This boy up. Oh, so, look at that. Look at wow, that. that's got some. Beautiful. Ooh. Yeah, we got a little twist technique. Yeah, we'll get that. Yeah, baby. This is the look, look at Nice, Barb. I don't even know. False knot day is like right before Easter, I think. Ready? Do a little olive oil right off the bat. Right, a little it's olive oil right off the bat. It's going to be too sticky. Olive oil. Too uh, sticky. Too sticky. Do it at the end. Finish it with the olive oil. I, I don't want to make it too moist that it's going to get stuck in the... 
Okay. You know what okay. I mean? okay. 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 Yeah. That's gonna be good. That is incredibly delicious. Good. Put it in. When I pull it out, one time. Do a little drizzle. Oh yeah, nice. Quick yeah. on these little oven. Oh, this is on like oh, no way. Yeah, I think she's probably That's a pie, baby. Pizza, y'all. Nice. Yeah. Don't cook it. It's better this way. That's beautiful, man. I'm so happy you guys like to eat and cook. Yeah, man. Cheers, mm. babies. Oh, man. Mm. Yup, that's oh. pizza. So it's got a little burn char from the mm. last pizzas we made. That's good. All right, pizza oven is away. We are fully stuffed. It's time to get back into tearing all the good stuff out it's of this Tesla. <laughs> Starting with the seats, which I think are gonna go for it, baby. Oh, am I just ready to pull? I just ready to lift this out of here. Yeah, you got the muscles. Close the door again. We gotta do a magic act every time we gotta get the door open. That's no big deal. How much you weigh? Hang on, don't break the clip. that. It's actually 45 pounds. I don't feel like maybe more, maybe less. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Watch the clip. I don't know. My twins are like 40 pounds. Yeah, okay, that's like 75 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like center console might be worth if you take it out for a few bucks. Oh yeah. Definitely the gauge cluster. Oh, dude, look, it's on. I mean, it looks like when I broke mine. Please. <laughs> <laughs> it was like my brother got pissed at Mortal Kombat and threw his dude, shoe yeah. at the screen. Is that lighting? Oh God. Oh, the whole thing just shut down. Oh, it's something's going on. No, it's trying to start, dude. It said it had 174 miles left, so we might want to be careful. Yeah. Oh, did I turn this off by pushing this? I think something, yeah. Service required. Yeah, it's like, hey, you might want to shake it into a service center because uh, it's... A, dude, uh, dude, it's got... 175 it's... miles. Yeah, that's terrifying. Terrifying. Oh, there we go. Dang. <sighs> what I got? See this? Take it around I think the block. I they're shaped like the car. Yeah. What? It's like a Porsche. Whoa. The coolest piece we have. Okay. Open them up. That's fair. This one's gonna be a little harder because there's a steering wheel on the way. It goes in the square hole. Oh yeah, it goes in the square. Was that you showed me that the other day? Yeah. No. Just the, yeah. Can you get it out that door? Three seconds. <laughs> well, the door's off over on that side. That's what it was. That's what it was. Cut the roof off. <laughs> Parkour. <laughs> I, if I get up and look at that, I'm gonna have a panic attack. I'm staying oh right over God. here. How do you lash these? I don't know, dude. <laughs> you so is this cold. the flux capacitor or is it that side? I think the whole thing is the flux capacitor. Hmm. Which one of these works the neon? Is it that? This one? Just find the biggest wire. And cut it. Yikes. Yes. High you, voltage. You sit your butt right on top of it. HVIL. <laughs> high voltage inline. A high voltage that good soy sitting between you and death. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, they, they have this futon frame to save your butt. Oh. You're good. You're good. So it turns into a bed? So if there's a problem, these cars are no notorious for lighting on fire and being really hard to put out, and people just aren't trained or equipped just yet because it's all new technology. And there's a line here for firefighters. Um, I'm assuming if it's on fire or just basically to kill all of the power, you take your giant saw of doom and cut it on this line, make sure you get in six inches, and that will cut through the two main power cables and essentially disable the whole car. And that's something you don't see in a gas car. So how do they not get electrocuted? Maybe they do. I guess the saws, rubber gloves. insulated, gloves. and gloves. Yeah, yeah, probably gloves and 
look. So we have spent the day tearing the seats, whatever screens we could save, the doors off of this Tesla. We're gonna need a little bit of time adding it all up, see what we can probably sell all this junk for, get a little bit of our money back. Um, but now it's time to put it up on the lift, take the batteries out, take the drive unit out of this thing, out of the back, which is like encased in the rear subframe. We're gonna take it all, take some stuff under the hood, and then maybe take this thing right off to the crusher. Okay, so we have basically torn off everything we think will sell easily on this car. The doors, the hatch, the seats. Uh, we'll dig into what that's all going to sell for in a little bit because right now we want to take off the stuff that we're going to keep and we're going to use. So that is this giant battery tray. Uh, the battery actually lives underneath the flat floor in this car. And then we're going to take out the rear propeller drive unit. And the main thing we're going to do, hopefully, is not electrocute ourselves. Right, we've done a little bit of research. Most glass, everything. Glass zero gloves is what you need. Yes, do you have those? They're coming. Great, they're coming today. Mm -hmm. Perfect. They're good to 1,000 volts. When I get here, just put them, just put them on my the grave. Thing. Just lay them on top, when you like do, flowers. When you do the when research. I'm shot, when I'm gloves, burnt to a crisp, you just lay them on the grave. low voltage. Great. Think about that for a second. 1,000 volts. Yeah. Low voltage. Anyway, this stuff is dangerous. Be careful. Uh, do your research. There's a bunch of decent videos about how to take this stuff apart. There's a couple main disconnect fuses that we're going to take care of. And we are going to test this whole thing for voltage. Since it should have discharged fully by now, we think it's going to be not a live wire, essentially. So there are several different first responder clips, I think, throughout the car that make it easy. Here. Your fireman or something, they tell you just to cut these loops. This is one of the main, the first things we're going to do. Take this out. And Barb is going to pull the main fuse that gives power to the car. So that you can see, got that? Mm -hmm. Again, these cars are going to be dangerous if you're not careful. So we're gonna do our best to be careful because these are new animals to us. So there's a glass fuse there that's gonna feed the whole rest of the car. We're taking that out. And the main lines we'll dig into next that come from the charger to the battery, to the battery controller, all that stuff. We'll dig into those. Those are the high voltage cables we gotta be really careful with. All right, so we jumped online and ordered this fancy set of sockets. This is an EPS Plus. EPR? Nice. We got some good stuff. We got these Homer Simpson gloves to keep us safe and not shocked. And I got these internal five slotted sockets that are called uh, EPS plus Torx or yeah. something. These say they EPR though. But they're EPS. Got it. These are EPS plus Torx sockets. And uh, I'm going to start taking out this main fuse. Then we'll get into taking out the battery pack in this thing and the rear drive unit. And look, this is a $130,000 car that we bought for $5,500, and I'm hoping I can sell $5,500 worth of junk off of it and just get our drive unit and batteries for free. That's the goal. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Already Something happened here that feels weird. Open contactors before access. There's nothing in here. Maybe that's worth something, huh? Grab me up. Grab me a flashlight, please. You're like, maybe... Oh, no, it's saying the battery has juice, though. That wouldn't make sense. That's our problem. We don't want it to have any juice. It shouldn't have juice yeah, after, yeah. after 100, 300 days or whatever it's been. So there's two pyro fuses. One's supposed to be underneath the car in that panel I just pulled out. We didn't find that. I see this other one here. It's physically kind of deformed. I tested for no power on it. I'm going to just put on some regular gloves and pull that thing out and then we'll get to the main battery, try to get this thing, you know, all disconnected and make sure nothing's got power going to it. 
All right, so this will be two pyro fuses, big explosion fuses that like disable the car if anything bad happens. This car had some bad stuff happen. Um, I found one. The one is missing from that giant hole, that panel I took out off underneath. But I'm going to take off this other one. I tested it for power with my multimeter and didn't see anything. Hoping I can just pop it off with no issues. And we'll be safe. Once this thing's finally disconnected, we'll check the battery packs or any power, and then we'll be pretty free to just work on it and tear it apart. But because it's such a potential hazard, we are being pretty careful about it. And it's our first time. And I want to not go down in a blaze of glory. Not this way, anyway. I feel like it'd be a bummer to do all the fun, exciting, dangerous stuff I've done in my life and then just melt the first time I touch an electric car. <laughs> be a lot of dudes would be like, I told you so, man. Leave that black <laughs> magic boomers, alone. Boomers are coming. Leave that black magic alone. All right, this is another one. It's half smashed. It probably exploded. That's disconnected. It's just this little fuse. These are the large contacts in it. So the main parts of the in-house electrical system should be disconnected. Now let's go back here to the money unit here. Right. Okay. This is only gonna hurt for a second. So these are like high voltage gloves, rubber gloves to keep me safe. They're just called insulators. So I'm gonna throw on a set of, you're supposed to wear leather over top. These are good to 5,000 volts. In case I wanna do some high energy TIG welding, I'm throwing on these Miller welding gloves too. All right. So, you want to just let's grab a 12 mil. There we go. That looks pretty serious. Oh boy. Cool. All right. Take my multimeter and we're going to look at disconnecting all these lugs. I'm going to test everything first. See if we got power across anything. If we're holding anything on. Hoping it's all done, but let's be nice and safe. I'm not picking up any uh, residual power anywhere, which makes sense. This car has been off the road for at least 150 days, which should absolutely drain the whole thing. Um, but just to be safe and not to, you know, hurt myself. I'm just checking everything. It looks right. I'm gonna start disconnecting everything and uh, we will get ready to pull the battery out. No, he's very much living. He's still with us, he's living it up. Yeah, he's living his best life. Thick ones. Those are the ones, buddy. They're the ones I want. Mm. Just to make me feel better. All right, let's pull it. Let's get this thing apart. Ugh. Hey. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's fun to think that somebody paid 130 grand for this. Big pile of aluminum and voltage. Get it up. Wow. So, for the viewers with keen eyes, if you really look at this thing, you can tell it wasn't a front end impact. For sure. Little fender bender. Yes. Little fender bender because the fender is gone. And they hit maybe a pole here. And also the wheel's gone. Yeah. And then the whole front end is also gone. It was going wicked fast. Until it wasn't. And then it was going wicked slow. Oh, just like that. There Even this is. thing's got a leaky rear main, dude? Come on. <laughs> no. Can't get away from them. There she is. Those are some beefy axles, too. Dude. I bet you can't break one. All right, so this is the main drive unit in the back of a Tesla Model S. 
So we're looking at 500 electric horsepower and I think similar numbers for torque, 480 torque, instant torque. So it's all housed right in the rear subframe. It's their proprietary unit and then axles just come out of this thing and power these rear wheels and the car rockets down the road. So we're going to try to take this whole unit out and shove it up underneath some cool looking muscle car. Probably something I already own if you've got ideas. You know what I've got out there. There's a cool walkthrough video that we did about a year and a half ago of all the stuff I've got laying in the other shop, all the different projects. So if you've got an idea where this should go, let me know. I think I've got one. I'm going to put it in the front of my Cuda. No more turning. <laughs> yes. Just locked wheels. Just go straight. Lotus. 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 <laughs> Bro. Half of these are missing. I wonder if this car has a battery in it at all. All right, so we're pulling, trying to pull this battery down, and I'm seeing that a bunch of hardware is missing. I'm not exactly 100% sure if this car even has a battery in it. So that would be a big, expensive problem. No bolts in there. This rear drive unit by itself sells for 6,000 bucks. Yes. So we're not in bad shape, but we may not be in the shape we thought we were in. We'll find out. There you go. Good? Oh, yep. No! <laughs> They're stealing batteries. They're stealing catalytic converters. There's nothing in there. Son of a... This is where the batteries go. Not a single cell in, among any of these things. Oof. All right. Not great. Man, thought we had one in there. What's the wires even going to then? Nothing? They're just right here. Nothing. There's a plug. Oh yeah, cool. That would have worked. That the, the plug is gone. Everything's gone. All of it. Here's the other part of that panel you were looking for. Yeah. That was, that was my first. That was my first clue. Same people that are stealing cats are stealing batteries, I guess. Well, nice and safe now. Yep, we can work on it. Yeah, we sure can. All right, so the battery was one of the main components we wanted to keep and use for our EV muscle car swap. Those are gone. It's going to cost us a couple bucks. Um, I've seen those things upwards of essentially, I think they're like 800 bucks for each one of these packs. And this one has 10 packs. It's going to be quite a bit of money. Um, luckily, we know the drive unit is definitely in there. I'm not super upset. I mean, okay, I'm pretty upset about it, right? I'm not thrilled, but realistically, we paid 5,500 bucks for this car and the rear drive unit by itself sells for that much all day long. So I still think we're in decent shape. But now we are going to have to get our hands on some batteries and it's going to cost us a pretty penny. Oh, yeah. Put that anywhere. Keep it going. Now ah, we ripped the ground clean off, but we'll fix that later. Okay, right, go. Keep going. There she is. Booyah. So here we have it. The large Tesla rear drive unit. This thing delivers 500 electric horsepower and I think it's like 470 electric torque monkeys, whatever they call them, torque gremlins. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. All right, so here it is, the whole subframe with the Tesla large drive unit in it. Uh, this is a nice chunk of change. I think we got our money's worth just right here. But now what we're going to do is take all those seats and all those parts and the steering wheel and the front drive unit, lay them out, see if we can't get an idea of what they'll all sell for and see if we didn't get this thing basically for free. Let's see what's up. But this is going to be sick. This is, the, this is going to be like the main power unit for the new car. And it wheels bolt right on there. We stick it up in the back, we give it some battery power, and I think a couple, connect a couple wires and we'll be off and running. All right, so we've got the rest of our Tesla torn apart. 
Now remember, after I realized we got boned on the batteries and we don't have them, I got a little bit concerned, like, will we be able to, you know, get our money out of this car? Because now we're going to have to buy those batteries and they're expensive. I paid 5400 bucks for this Tesla Model S. Originally, it cost $125,000, $130,000. So already feeling like there's definitely some value in this thing, even though it had been totally annihilated. And we went through and took out all of the parts we think we can sell, and this is the list. And again, we're just trying to get above 5,400. Now I'm gonna keep that rear drive unit. I'm gonna keep the electronic brake booster. I'm gonna keep a bunch of the cables and controllers and just stuff we don't need for the EV conversion. Looks like this. Rear hatch, 300 bucks. Tail lights, 400 bucks. Two wheels with tires that are definitely questionable. 400 bucks, 1650 for the seats. Doors at 2100. We've got door panels inside at 550. Mirrors are 400 bucks. Everything on this car, since it's so new, still really is hard to get. People are crashing these things and they seem to be pretty easy to sell. So I just went on eBay and found a listing and kind of went for like the mid-level. So these are the prices I'm coming up with. Steering wheel and column and assorted bits, 400. That's really on the low side. And the big last thing we did find out is that the front drive unit is totally fine. And these things seem to sell for 1400 bucks or so all day long. I'm not even counting like the axle or this one random caliper, stuff like that. That totaled up is $7,600. So it looks like we might get paid two grand to tear this thing apart and keep the big drive unit that we need for our EV swap. So I'm pumped on this. Obviously, it's going to take some time, list it up, deal with online yahoos. But hey, it's totally worth it. We're very excited about this project. I'm planning on putting it into a sweet muscle car I already have. But if you've got better ideas, let me know. And no, you can't say put it in the trash. I've heard that one already like 50 times from Zach. That's it for this episode of Stay Tuned. Thanks for watching. I am pumped on this project. Okay, I don't care. I just want to go fast and have fun. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, buy some merch because we got to buy these batteries and they cost like 8,000 bucks. All right, we'll see you next time.